Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Latex Solution. Today I want to discuss an important issue uh, that is uh, publishing of a website in IIS that is in a LAN and WAN environment. You can publish your page uh, in the website and uh, the website uh, may be HTML pages or of ASP pages but today I will discuss on HTML pages only because uh, this is a easy and short technique and uh, in ASP it will be a little uh, trickier because the publishing is uh, first uh, done in the ASP package so the I will discuss it later on but uh, today I will discuss on HTML page publishing because the remaining steps are same as of HTML page publish so the requirement for this publishing a page is uh, the local LAN IP and the IIS environment and uh, the folder where the pages are kept so first of the I check the my IP is yes my IP is 192.168.1.1 so I write down this IP and uh, next uh, that is uh, my uh, IP is working now next step is uh, to check my folder where my mm, pages are kept uh, here is the uh, my folder this is a c drive htm and the pages is a2 and i can browse it to show you uh, in html page design this is a2 page a2 dot htm page uh, a small pages yes this is uh, my default page and I will link it to the next page this is my next page so this will be uh, accessible in uh, LAN and uh, it, it can be pu after publishing my uh, page in IIS sorry so next uh, uh, discussion is uh, to go to IIS that is my IS will be available in administrative tool of control panel control panel and IS so that is admin tool and that is IS internet information service and uh, this in this environment I will add my the folder and the page which will be accessible uh, from LAN and uh, one environment uh, from anywhere in this network so for this uh, you see this is uh, the button uh, with the server name that is computer name and this is the sites here one default is your present and default page default website now please follow the steps i will do one by one the steps is uh, to right click on this uh, default uh, page and uh, add uh, uh, virtual directory yes and uh, alias you can say any one page name suppose a1 is the my uh, default page which is accessible from anywhere on the website so that is a1 i i should access a1 the physical part is the drive that is my C drive where the folder is kept yes this is C drive the HTM folder is kept where my pages are uh, will be available so this is the main tax uh, if it is connected uh, or connecting so you can click on test setting yes it is authenticated so this is the user authentication page so if it is ok then it will go onwards okay yes this is uh, created here next task is to uh, right click on this virtual directory and uh, try uh, try to convert to an application yes it is the convert to application so try it yes it is uh, doing uh, okay click on okay so the icon is automatically changed to a browser options browser icon here and uh, now it is a little bit uh, okay it is going to browse in the internet in the network in the WAN and uh, or in the LAN environment and 
now uh, there is a taxes here the default document uh, I have to assign here is uh, my page number page name my page name we see here my page is uh, a2.htm yes so uh, I will give the page name here the, uh, on the folder default uh, document yes I will open it this is inherited uh, default document it is ok I will see in this default uh, options ah, yes it is ok uh, now I have to change the default document in this uh, default document yes a1 so this would be added with right click and add with a1.htm this is my first page of the folder so yes it is uh, in the upwards so first uh, will be mm, uh, Susan from this and uh, now it is ok and uh, final tax is to uh, final tax is to the uh, application full area select application full area and uh, you see these are the application uh, uh, support environment and the version 4 is integrated here so this is already configured so I have uh, review it uh, with uh, advanced settings you may see in your in your computer there will be one application pool here so right click on that pool and uh, go to advanced settings and here you see the .NET version is the final latest version is uh, version 4.0 which is uh, more easy to uh, take action on this page so you should take it next option is uh, to uh, user account authenticity so this is the user account authenticity is the process model identity model and uh, click here to, to identity uh, as a local system yes the user account is should be is local system you remember it uh, that uh, you should allow to access from any computer so authenticity is uh, enabled by this option okay now it is okay the this two option is uh, to uh, have to done uh, to allow the pages from, uh, for accessibility uh, from anywhere in the network now the final task is to check it uh, whether this page is browsing or not yes my default page is browsing on the browser or not so right click on the uh, this is virtual directory uh, and uh, and on this directory right click on this directory and go to manage application and uh, try it to browse from this button browse and uh, if it is ok it will show your page yes try it I think it will already <coughs> sorry sorry it is not ready uh, I will do something yes uh, there was a little error in the uh, person of uh, default document because uh, the, the my page was h2.htm I have added h1 so I will remove it h1 and uh, yes h2.htm uh, will work so please uh, check it now it is uh, working here browse yes it is done so uh, guys uh, this is the steps final steps uh, that uh, browser is set with a page browser which is uh, accessible as localhost slash a1 a1 is the page name now same is uh, linked with the other page yes it is okay so i think it is clear to you that uh, the uh, website uh, place is published uh, from this uh, 
outside so uh, now next thing is uh, you can uh, you can verify it whether it is published in the LAN or not so for this reason I will uh, access it uh, I will access it one ninety two my IP is one nine two dot one six it was uh, already I have uh, selected one as uh, this one this because a one is the mm, uh, page which is a alias space and uh, it will access uh, with the IP uh, from other computer so I will uh, show it from this also this I can uh, use it the same from this also so I press enter yes it is doing it because this IP is uh, the registered IP of this computer hence it is only registered in IS also so it is giving the accessibility of this space in LAN also so thank you guys I think it is clear to you where IS how uh, does uh, IS configured how your website is published in a LAN environment or WAN environment and uh, I think uh, uh, please uh, do it one yet yourself and it will be easier to you uh, to do any web publishing in uh, your WAN environment or any and LAN environment thank you for viewing this video and if it is liked by you please subscribe to my channel light solution uh, thanks thanks